cannot stress that enough. Yeah. Number one, I hit the shot. Have to be able to be. My lock has to be in front. My lock is not here or here. You're going to see why here in a minute. Number one, I'm elbow deep right there. Number two, he's going to sprawl. Why? That's what the stud does. I hit a shot, I know he's going to sprawl. As soon as my hands lock, guys, I pull in and down. As soon as I lock my hands, here, I'm doing this right here. Watch my elbow. I'm trying to take my right elbow and hit myself in the right knee. And you're going to see my shoulder and right hip go low. As soon as I lock my hands, I'm doing this. I'm pulling in and down. I'm trying to get right to that elbow right there. Notice my right shoulder and right hip is only my left shoulder and left hip. Crucial step. Number one. Number one, I'm elbow deep. Two, when he sprawls, I pull in and down. Show me, is going to fall to both knees. But this knee has to be beside my right knee. If his left knee is not beside my right knee, if his left knee is back here, I'm extended and will win every time. I promise. Number one, elbow deep. Two, he sprawls, I pull in down right there. Three, crucial step. I come off my knee and I drive right there to my right elbow. Also, notice number three. Right hip is over the left. Somebody tell me, why did I put my right elbow behind his leg? Yeah, why do I block it? It's stopping from circling. Yeah, it's stopping from squaring up. All right? I have to have this leg here. It stops him from squaring up and sprawling and getting extended. So number three, I'm right here on my right elbow, right hip slower. Number four, I circle. Right hip always stays lower than left. Four, I circle, and I step forward, I bring my right knee right behind my elbow. Number five, guys, I lock my hands. I take my outside hand, stay above the knee. I change level. We call it a head inside chase the ankle. We don't chase that ankle as much anymore as we chase that far knee and drop. Again, again, number one, elbow deep. Two, pull in and down. Three, I get right there to my right elbow. Right hip slower. Four, step forward. Five, change level. Both hands stays above the knee, but my right arm stays under the butt. And I drop. Hey guys, I've been showing this probably for 30 years of my life. And what's amazing, guys, is most people, they screw up the odds. They just roll one, three, or five. Guys, I might hit the best setup in the world on Joey. I might hit the slickest shot in the world on Joey. But if I lock my hands wrong, your third space between my elbow and the bend of his knee, instead of me being here, if I'm here. Watch what's going to happen. I need to go on the knee outside my knee. I want you guys to look at my position. I lock right here, Joey scrolls, I pull in and down. Look what happened. All the weight just shifted to my head, left shoulder, left knee. There, Joe's just gonna bump his hip into me, knock me down, and I think he's gonna win that battle. All because it wrapped up with deep, that is crucial. Hey guys, number five. Number five, I've seen a lot of high school guys, junior high guys, elementary guys, even college guys screw up. They do the first four right. Here's what happens. They do the first four right, they get all the way to here, Joe's got his hand right in my armpit, and then all of a sudden they drive up. Instead of changing level and staying low, I see guys do this. I go to come up, he just talks me up, I pull my arm up, I come around his waist, next thing you know, guys. Here, some of you guys are getting here, you're unlocking your hands, and you go to reach. Guys, if I go to do that, Joe is just going to windshield wiper his foot. As I go to reach, he's going to square up with me, and next thing you know, I'm right there. All because it blocked. Once I got his leg blocked, guys, that's what when he steps over, it blocks that. Does that make sense? Do not shortcut it. Okay, what's it's going to do? My trail foot's going to start from here. My trail foot's going to do that right there. Look how far I move. Again, it's going to go from here. I hit the shot. It's going there. Guys, I'm moving at six, eight feet right from the shot. Guys, here's what I see all the time. If you don't believe me, ask your coaches. I guarantee if they see this. Joey's going to hit a shot. Right here is his trail foot. And I see most guys move the trail foot that far. They pause for just a brief second. Why they pause, I still haven't got to figure it out yet. I think the reason why Joe paused is he's trying to figure out, can I do option one and get to my feet, or am I going to do option number two? In the process, he waits for me to react. And that's where I beat him. Watch. Joe's going to hit a shot. He's just going to move the trail foot. I don't know, foot to foot and half. Here's his trail foot. Joe hits the shot. OK, here's where his foot started from. He went right there, that far. You guys with me? And he pauses for just a brief second. That pause is going to kill him every time. You know why, guys? My hips going to come in, feet go back, my chest is going to cover his head, and my right hand is going to grab right behind his leg. See it all the time. Move, Joe. You can't. All right, why he's carrying all 168.8 right on top of his back right now. All right, but guys, watch what's going to happen. When Joe goes to hit the shot, I'm going to sprawl. I'm going to put my hand right where his foot starts. Look how far he moves his foot. Right from the shot. 
So here you go. I'm with this frog. Right here is where his foot started from. Look where his foot's at right there. It's all the way there. Also, guys, by Joe moving that trail foot, he did a bunch of things at once. He went elbow deep, he pulled in and down, he's on his right elbow, got his hand curled, right hip is lower than left. All from the shot. He's in great position here. There he steps over. And he chases him. Hey. Hey, here. Right. Can't miss him. There. Stop. Right here's where Hayden's foot started from. Right here. Look where Hayden's foot is. Right here. Right here. Guys, he never hit this trail like me ever. Right hip lower. He's on his right elbow. Got his hand curled. There Hayden steps over. And there he chases him. Joe again. Crucial step, guys. Good. See right there? I see right where his footprint still is. Right here. Right here. Joe's in great position. There he steps over and chases Hey, guys, when we do this right here, when we move that trail foot, you know what it does? It gets us an angle. We are not parallel. If I'm parallel and the guy sprawls, he's going to crush me. When we do this, we do that 90 degree angle, guys, when he sprawls, we don't have to carry his weight. Hey guys, every day in my room, after we warm up, my guys start drilling. They drill for 15 minutes, 10, 12, 15 minutes until the sweat's dripping off of them. I bet we probably hit 50 or 75 beats in that warm up. Then I give them a break, you know what? Then we live wrestle for the next hour. Guarantee what we do every freaking day of the season. We live wrestle an hour and we drill for the first 15 minutes. Then guys, after practice is done, four o'clock, the guys go home, they get something to eat, start picking up. Then they come back to the high school, I meet them back up at the high school at seven o'clock. We drill for an hour, hour and 15 minutes. They probably hit 100 of these that night between seven and eight o'clock. All right, you know what guys, we're averaging 150, 175 these days. You know why guys? It wins the state time, let's go pick it up. This right here wins the state title. Joey or Hayden, they're down by a point. They go out of bounds, 30 seconds left. They look at me, hey, hit it. Now, this is the shot. Are they ever hitting the trail like me? Never. Do they ever stop? Never stop, never stop. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Good, it is our best shot at Graham High School without question. It's won us more state titles than any other penetration step that we have. One more, one more, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. One more, Joe. One more. Good. Guys, did they ever stop there throughout that whole move? Did they ever hit their trail leg deep? 